Hi Libra, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm going to be doing your August 1st through the 15th love reading. This is intended to be a love reading. We'll see what comes up for Libra. Daughter of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is about this is about courage and confidence. Okay, I think this is energy being given to you. This is the first second of August. You know, having the courage or the confidence that you need regarding something regarding love okay regarding a new um emotion okay a new feeling of love something new a new feeling of love but you're being asked to have uh courage and confidence to head in that direction okay oh <laughs> but you know you're still you're still i think you're looking at something else you know you might miss the opportunity because you're you're still concentrated a little bit on something else here we have a Pisces cancer or a Scorpio person <laughs> you know <laughs> you could meet somebody new uh, Pisces cancer or Scorpio at some gathering or some event could be at work, something where there's a lot of people, okay, where there's a get-together. You could meet somebody if you haven't met them already, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. <clears throat> you know, and it could, it could, because I think that you want love. I do. I think that you want love and that you've been dreaming about love, um, but you're still stuck someplace else. You are. You're not, you know, you want it, but you're still not quite ready to accept it. But you're starting to feel like you might want to accept accept new love. And it takes courage and confidence to get there. It does. To, to actually, you know, peek inside that lovely cup. Oh, oh goodness, Libra. Look at that. You just can't do it. You just can't close your eyes and let it happen. You can't just just let your guard down. What what the hell? What if what if this love isn't true? What if it, you know, what if it isn't true? Well, <clears throat> what does your intuition say? What does your intuition say? You, what is your, I'm not talking about your brain or your heart. I'm talking about your intuition. Okay, because your heart is connected to all your past experiences. Okay, it is. Your intuition is also connected to your past experience, but it's also a gut feeling. Okay, it's a knowing. It's connected to your brain as well. It's connected to your soul. You're connected to your soul. Okay. Um... <laughs> seven of swords you've you've been cheated you know and you just are scared to death you are scared to death and that's why your confidence your self-esteem and your courage has been shot down you are scared to death you've been lied to and you've been cheated and it was somebody that you loved and it hurt so bad okay it hurts so bad that your your soul is like shot and you've turned cold you've turned cold and so now you're like <laughs> no no i can't do this you know even though you want to you want love but you're you've <sighs> You're carrying that shit around with you. You are still carrying that shit around you with you. Wasn't it just like a week or two ago or two weeks ago when I told you guys are starting to love yourself? What, you going to flip-flop for the rest of your life? <laughs> Here we have a Taurus. 
okay? You might, and this is a Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer person. Um, here we have a Taurus. This is about blockage. This is a blockage or not following your own path, okay? What's, what's blocking you? Is there a Taurus blocking you from seeing this new love? Okay, or is there somebody else? Could be anybody. Could be anybody that's blocking you because you're still concentrated. You're still carrying that around with you, you know. You know, it looks like you're starting to, uh, it's weird. You do, you flip-flop fucking constantly uh, because it feels like, you know, one minute you're feeling emotionally balanced and you're feeling good. The next minute you're feeling colder than ice. You know, one minute you're following your path and you're like, I'm moving forward. I'm going to take care of myself. I'm going to grow spiritually. I'm on my spiritual journey. I'm doing fine. And the next minute you're like, totally blocked from that so it's like it's a flip-flop um something needs to be let go just so you know something needs to be let go so that you can see so that you can be get some new love Are you listening to yourself? I mean, do you ever listen to yourself? Do you ever sit back and listen to yourself? I mean, or sit back and picture yourself the last three days, what went, what happened? Do you ever sit back in your recliner or wherever it is you're comfortable or in your bed <laughs> and think, go over your last three days or go over your last six months. Go within and pull that shit out and work and heal it. Do you ever just sit back and think, you know, I've been through all this? Do you ever just listen? Do you ever just take a minute and think about all you've been through and and um, <laughs> remove what is blocking you? Okay? Think about what it is that you need to remove that is blocking you so that you can reach harmony and peace and contentment. I think you've been lied to and you've been cheated on. And now you're scared to love again. And you're still focused on something that you just can't let go. You can't. But I think you're going to. Because I think that I think that you are. Because this is an ending. Okay? You haven't let go. But you're starting to let go. Okay? Maybe the ice is starting to melt. You know? And you're going to start to follow follow the right path. You're going to start to believe in yourself. This is towards the, you know, 10th of August. You're going to come back around and start believing in yourself again. Perhaps you went to an event and somebody has striked your fancy and you're going to, and you're like, you know, maybe you've been like squawking at them in your head even, you know, and been like, oh, I just don't know. I don't know. I don't, you know, I'm not sure. Or you haven't met them yet and you're just going to be like, in your head, you're going to be like, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. Damn, you really need to be following your intu intuition. We have that a lot here, okay? That you're not listening. And what well, sometimes you are, because sometimes it's a, it's a complete flip-flop. This is a complete flip-flop reading, and I see it 100%. One minute you're feeling uh, all warm and lovey and the next minute you're like cold as ice. One minute you're following your intuition and you're listening to your your intuition and your guides and the next minute you're not. It all depends on what you want, of course, and that's what's going on. Okay, and it's time for you to um, really, really sit back. Like I said, did you ever sit back? This is meditation. Do you ever sit back? Sit back and contemplate. 
what the hell you've been through. And, and really go through that and, and realize where do you want to be? Do you want to miss? How long are you going to miss opportunities and love for? How long? That How long? I don't think it's going to be for much longer because I really don't because you have this ending here. At, you know, and you know, this is this period of healing. All right? This is kind of like you're manifesting it. All right? You follow, you decide to follow your own path. You decide to stop whatever is blocking you and do what it, do whatever you got to do to reach contentment and harmony. You're following your intuition again, hopefully. I mean, that's the goal. All right? And you're moving forward. All right, you're putting yourself in the driver's seat. You're not going to, you're going to have take on courage and confidence. And you're going to let go of these lies and deceit that you've been through. Okay, you're just going to let that shit go. Absolutely. And you're going to move forward and you're going to be very victorious. Very. Okay. I see that. I'm going to get some more. Hold on. I think your future looks bright, Libra. I really do. You're working on it, working on it, working on it, working on it. But you're, you still flip-flop every now and then. You know, you go back and forth. Um, this water sign, they could offer you a very happy, comfortable, content family life, home life. You know, they could. They can offer you love. And, it's, and it could lead to, you know, this real love. It is. They could really love you. I mean, look at how happy she is. She's so content and happy. Look at this is contentment too. We have this Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo again. They're connected to this letting go. They are. This is letting go. They're also connected to your moving forward. Okay, so perhaps this person is the one that has lied to you and tricked you. All right, this could be a Cancer, could be a Pisces, can a Pisces. <laughs> Sorry, Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. Why Pisces is coming up, I do not know. So keep that in your top of your head that Pisces is also included here somewhere because I wanted to say it so bad. Um. <coughs> So whoever this person is, I think it's a water sign or an earth sign. And I think that it's between two. I think you're getting over one to go with the other. But the thing is, is you don't really want to know if you want to go with the other because you're still stuck on the other. And it seems like you're never going to get unstuck on the other because you're always going to be stuck on the other. Do you know what I'm trying to say? So you could possibly miss an opportunity because you just won't let go mentally. Okay. You won't. In order to let go mentally, you have to dig deep. Deep, 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 deep. Let go of any chaos that's swimming around up there. Needs to come. No. Whatever's going on up there that's causing you a little bit of chaos needs to go. Okay, and this chaos connected to this earth sign. The victory is with a cancer, okay? And that's when I was wanting to say Pisces, too, was right over here. So I don't know. The victory, I think, is with a cancer or a Pisces. But I think you're too focused on this earth sign that you might miss an opportunity with this water sign, which would be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I mean... <laughs> <clears throat> Let's get some... Romance Angel cards. Now this may or may not resonate with all of you. You know, it is what it is. I'm not God. I can't I can't reach everybody. Um so it is what it is. If some parts may resonate and some parts may not. Um and if it doesn't then check your moon sign or your rising sign or perhaps I'm not the reader for you. Um one thing I really don't like is when you guys go on like my Virgo and say, Libra next, Libra next. <laughs> you guys are last. All right. 
So it's just that that's, nobody else does that hardly ever. Once in a while, I'll get another sign that does that, but very seldom. I typically get that with Libra. Ah, oh, I don't like it. It's rude. Why should you be next? I mean, why? Why should you be put at the top of the list? Don't even answer that. I don't want to hear your answer. Just saying. I don't. Because, I mean, I do them in the way that I feel needs to be done. And that's that's the best way to do it. That's how the spirits want it. That's free. That's free flowing. That's letting the universe drive. You ever do that? Do you, have you ever let the universe drive? Now just remember that whatever comes out of my mouth during this reading was meant for you. If it wasn't meant for you, then perhaps I'm not the reader for you. But try letting the universe drive. It might, might work for you. Mm. <laughs> do you remember when I told you to sit in your recliner? I'm sure you do. Very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. <laughs> yes, please. You need to go into a, like a meditative period. Okay? And there's all kinds of meditation. There is. Just closing your eyes and, and um, concentrating on nothing is meditation. You, will, you wouldn't believe what it would do for you. Anyway, it's time for you to, to go within and decide what you want. The best but you have to do is dig deep. Deep, 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 deep. But you have to want it. See, that's the problem. If you don't want it, it won't happen. That's where free will comes into play. So you guys might comment and say it doesn't resonate or blah, 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 blah. blah. If you don't want it, it's not going to happen. You know, if you don't want new love, like this right here, then it won't come. I think you do want it. But you don't. There's the fucking flip-flop again. <sighs> religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. Now if you're not religious, okay? Get rid of that religious. Your love life is influenced by your upbringing and path. <laughs> Everybody's is. Your upbringing. That's the main message out of this card. It's influenced by your upbringing. It is. It's, it's, your upbringing made you who you are. <laughs> Sorry about all the noises. I can't stop myself. Forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, when you're sitting in your recliner or laying on your bed or going into your meditative state and you're digging down as deep as you can dig and that means you're really going to have to use your intuition and you're going to have to use your spiritual knowing okay to get there you're going to have to as you release and heal the past you experience more love in your present moments <laughs> that is your main message main forgiving and learning and I'm not talking about the other person. I am to an extent. Okay? Forgive yourself and learn from it. Forgive yourself for whatever you think you did wrong. The fact of the matter is you didn't do anything wrong. You didn't. This is all destiny. It's all meant to be. Whatever happens, happens. Let the universe drive. You didn't do anything wrong. You're just as beautiful as the next person, inside and out. Time to bring back that courage and confidence. <clears throat> so, Libra, that is what I have for you for love. Um... I'm sorry it's not, uh, you know, it's not what you want. I'm sure that you want somebody to come in and sweep you off your feet. And I think somebody would like to do that. I do. You have that opportunity for somebody to do that, you know. <laughs> Four of Cups, not letting it happen or not seeing it coming because you're too focused on something else. 
it's all up to you. It's all about free will. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. You can't make something happen that isn't meant to be, that isn't destiny. So whatever's happened that has caused you to feel cheated and lied to, that was destined to happen. Let it go. So that's what I have for you, Libra. Um, hopefully my next segment, you guys won't be last. Um, we'll see how it goes. Um, I, that's it. <laughs>